I found the area marked by Dr. Krauter. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground. A large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Yes. It's relatively clean. You can send Hopper, sir. Entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That, I don't know, unfortunately. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. Someone are following the signal. Any progress? Oh, we dig as far as the terrain and out. It'll take a while. Regis, come in. Status report. Astrogator, sir. We dug up another three cubic meters. The object exhibits remarkable structural homogeneity. All spectroscopic analysis shows similar results. Steel with tungsten and nickel alloy? That's right. With the addition of other common metals. Is there any chance of retrieving the entire object for research purposes? No, none at all. Even sonar couldn't cover the entirety of it. Instead, Dr. Gorski calibrated the detector, so we had to look beneath the surface. And? What did you see there? Uh, more of the same. What protrudes above the ground is just the tip of the iceberg. We estimate it extends at least 50 meters underground. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, Furthermore, it's not a single object. Down below, there is an entire root system. So vast that it's impossible to cover it all at once, either with a scanner or a detector. Have you followed its course? Dr. Gorski's doing just that. Gorski? Are you scanning those roots? Affirmative. Uh, I'm headed westwards. Been going for a few hundred meters already. Still haven't reached the end of it. Sorry to interrupt, gentlemen, but I confirm my suspicions. This area has been tectonically inactive for a very long time, and the Aeolian activity is minimal. 
Therefore, the material that has settled on, or rather covered this metallic structure, it's very old, which means these structures are even older. And what are we talking about here? A few thousand years? Tens of thousands? Uh, I can't give a precise assessment, not yet. I'm asking for a rough estimate, Marit. Oh, uh, well then, I guess it... It could be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years old. Hmm. Anything else? Yes. These structures almost certainly didn't form through natural processes. Almost? Well... They don't look like anything I've seen before. And you know I've seen a lot, Novik. Also, I can't find any scientific explanation to this form. Hmm. Could this be what the Alliance is here for? Oh, don't make me guess that. I really don't know. Uh, personally, I doubt it, Astrodata. The more research we do, the more convinced I am that it serves no purpose at all. It's even hard to imagine this could ever have any function. Reed has come in. I've registered a slight change in the radiation readings. Hmm. And now? The level has significantly increased. No need to worry, Dr. Yasna. It's just x-rays from the active detector. Our probes are quite sensitive. They record even the slightest change. Is one of our devices also causing an increase in the electromagnetic field? Electromagnetic? No. We would have to activate a force field generator, but we didn't even bring one. Uh, Dr. Carter, uh, please wait a second. Gorski, what did you say about the field? Well, Gaston noticed an increase in the EM readings, which doesn't make much sense. Okay, oh, I'll check it again. Regis, we're losing reception. Cough, can you hear us? Over. Marit! We can't hear you! Damn it! What now, sir? We listen. Wait for the interference to pass. Uh, excuse me, but I don't think it will pass on its own. We need to take action. What do you suggest? We can land Dragonfly as close to their camp as possible. Doctor, you well know we can't. Finally stopped. Yes, ma'am. Are you there? I am. Unfortunately alone. Working equipment gave me hope, but someone just abandoned it. Didn't even turn it off. Yes, indeed. Unfortunate. We need to expand our search radius. Geological cross-section, measurements. These are Marit's notes. Oh, she must be somewhere close. He searched the entire area thoroughly.
The signal's coming from the castle of Batpat. That's concerning. I'm close, but I can't see her. She's here. I found her. What's her condition? Marit! Marit! Marit, wake up. Wake up. Do you hear me? Dr. Marit? No. No Bates vital here. functions. What's going on? I need on? to. One. Two. Three. Come on. <sighs> Nothing. One. Two. She's... She's... I know. Doctor. Yes, now. We have to find the others. Please give me a minute. Of course. Everything will be fine. All fine. Covers next. Yes, I think so. You should be close. Do you think Covel? Let's not assume the worst. You'll find a doctor alive. I'm sure about that. Someone's here. Oh, no. Yasna, status. Yasna! He's... He's... He's also... not moving. This doesn't mean anything yet. Koval? Don't do this to me. Not... Oh. You're alive! Did you hear that, sir? Koval's alive. I didn't doubt it for a second, Doctor. What's his current state? Checking. Parameters normal, yet he's completely unresponsive. Koval? Koval? His eyes are so empty. Just like Crowter's. Koval! What the hell is wrong with you? Are all the symptoms the same as Dr. Crowder's? He's calm. Calmer. Well, at least he's alive. Now listen to me, Yasna. The lander is on its way, but before you get Dr. Cobble on board, I want you to do something. Yasna. I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. It's everywhere. In pieces. No, not good. Koval was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes. That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. I'll go over them. But it may take a while. Huh. Have you found it? No, it's a... Uh... Nothing about Dr. Gorski. Uh, 
found them. Surprisingly accurate. He wrote down Gorski's every step. Great. Let's get Koval to the evacuation area. Can you carry him, Doctor? <laughs> Won't be pretty hard in 1G. But the gravity here should make things a tad easier. degradation of equipment, recurring connectivity issues. It all has to be related somehow. On the other hand, how could it be? There's not much on this planet. Primitive life forms in the ocean, metal deposits in the ground. Although the latter got Dr. Gorski's interest, for some reason. It's crazy how everything's falling apart here. I don't know. Maybe we're dealing with some kind of anomaly. An atmospheric or Magnetic phenomenon. Uh, wouldn't something like that show on the charts? All those measurements Gorski took? I remember. Maybe he made a mistake. Gorski's left. He might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. We also don't know Gorski's condition, nor what he's going through. I'll go back for Marit's body first. Take her to the lander. But Yasna, Dr. Marit is already gone. What if we also lose Gorski? I've made up my mind, Astrogator. I can't leave her like this.
Yes, sir. Come in. How are you feeling? How do you think, sir? I'm managing. Somehow. Forgive me, but I need to know if you're ready to continue your mission. <laughs> ready? Well, please don't worry about me. Death is a natural process that every human being has to get used to. Yes, ma'am. I don't expect you to be so... But I do. Let's leave it like this. <sighs> I've served with Dr. Merritt for over two decades. She's made of sterner stuff. The sternest. Many of us relied on her. I did. Did you know that headquarters offered her a promotion? She would have been the first female astrogator in the history of the Commonwealth. I had no idea. Doesn't matter anymore, really. Not entirely. Marit will be awarded posthumously. I'm taking a bit your word, astrogator. This could pave the way for others. And that's what she would have cared about the most. No doubt about it. Please take good care of her. Of course. Dr. Gorsk is next. Let's hope he got out of danger in time. It would be good to know what kind of danger we're talking about. I should move. Oh, there's no time. I'm leaving the excavation site. Huh. How did he come down? Huh. Oh. Huh. I've got Gorski's signal. So soon? It's unlikely to be him. Then who? Uh, not who, but what? Oh, it's weird. Dr. Gorski hardly ever parted with it. With what? Ah, oh, you're talking about the teleprobe. Uh, yes. I located the probe. It's lying on the ground, inactive can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal. I'd say it's running in safe mode. Please try to power it on. Do we have time for this? It's for a good reason, Doctor. The probe could prove useful in the search. And besides, you'll see. A 
Okay. I'm opening the probe. Turning the systems on. No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's a button on the left side of the fuse box. Hold it, and then turn the dial again. And go ahead. Slide records? Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure. But as they say, extremis malice, extrema remedia. Let's take a look. A photo of the first days on the surface. They started exploring the littoral zone almost immediately. They reported as much. Wasn't until the fourth day the comms failed. I recognize these structures. This is where they began to dig. Twelve hours passed. Three crew members are still there. Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost contact shortly thereafter. The probe followed him, and he followed the detector's readings. Going after those metal structures. Yes, that's what I meant. What's next? Uh, hang on. An absurdly high electromagnetic field reading. That's something. Sort of. What are the earlier readings? Checking. Still high on the slide just before. And earlier, quite normal. It happened in a matter of seconds. But there's... There's nothing except dunes. Sand, a few rocks, a shadow. Shadow? Another sandstorm, I guess. All right, Doctor. Let's move on. You may turn on the fuses now. We'll take the probe with us. Good. I've got it on my radar. Now I can give commands to the probe. And? What do you see? Is it working correctly? If you run it on manual steering, sir, then, then it works just fine. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. You have a keen eye. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. Oh, it'd be nice to have some company. I, I mean, apart from yours, sir. One second. Oh, that's odd. There's no data in the probe's memory. No ID, no nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. After all, it'll be with you for a while. So, what's it going to be? Huh. A name for the teleprobe. All right. I can think of something. Copy that. I'm listening. Please enter Luna. L. U. N. A. Done. Now, a few more tweaks, and you'll have a flying measurement center at your disposal.
I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. Status? Nothing's changed, Astrocator. Understood. I don't see these metal structures anywhere. The detector's measurement is very clear. I'm going straight on. No crossroads? Branches? Not yet. Just one thick, tangled vein. I guess I found the first point. You guess? We have to be sure, Doctor. Well, I'm at the first clear branching of these structures, such as reported by Dr. Gorski. All right. What happened next? He followed the branch to the right. probe detected something. I see that in the readings. What is it exactly? Well, the structure from the notes, it fits the description perfectly. Well done, Luna. I knew I could count on you. Well, we didn't bring it to the surface for no reason. Even in the first stage procedure. was mentioned in the note around the third point and I have a matching object here all right so how many are left uh, two points or at least that's what he told Koval 
What he did next? It's hard to assess. The battery in the detector lasts for only a few hours, so he couldn't have gone much further. The fourth point is a structure that fills a rock massive, on top of which he found surface structures. Huh. Sounds like a crucial node in this whole system. Hey, Luna. Gotcha. I found his tracks. Finally, some tangible evidence that he was going this way. <laughs> Good. And it's downhill all the way, Doctor. I wouldn't be so sure, Astrogator. The next point is at a height of approximately 100 meters. Definitely uphill. I think I'll catch up with Dr. Gorski on the other side. That wouldn't be such a bad scenario, right? Of course not. Though I wouldn't mind if we bumped into each other before the climb. I think we have the fourth point. I confirm. It's the fourth one. I see our flag. Yes, sir. Everything's all right? Yes. Yes. I just need a moment to think. Uh, as soon as you find something... I'll report it. No worries, sir.
this mission drags on so much. Sometimes I think you're going to take off without me, sir. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. The structures undergo noticeable changes here. If it keeps growing at this rate, I don't know what I'll find at the end. What kind of growth are you talking about, Doctor? Depth, width, complexity level? In every aspect. Interesting. Do you think these veins lead somewhere? To something? I'm leaning more and more towards that conclusion. But I can't tell what we might expect at the end. If it ends at all. Three, two, one. The land is departing. Yes, they're on their way. Thank you for your assistance. Without your help, it would have taken much longer. What's the plan for the second flight? The same place? That would work best. Certain? Proven? When you and Dr. Gorski come back, I'll send the lander right away. the top. The doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations? Between Koval and Gorski? No, Jasna. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... I... I don't see anything like it now, sir. down the parameters. Azimuth, 350. Distance, 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. It. I see the bushes. And the doctor? Um, hard to tell. Visibility is poor. Uh, it's going to be harder than before. I don't know how the doctor... Uh... When it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. But you'll have to get there on your own two feet. I suppose a probe will carry out the first task. It's capable, yes? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide you along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. Lead the way. I must say, it's a clever device, this probe of ours. Hey, can it fly for this long? Yes. 
Longer than you can stand on your feet. <laughs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Well, let's not exaggerate. I don't know. For me, it's only a matter of time before machines surpass their creators. The only question is when. We have a problem. Something serious? Huh. Maybe it's true that machines will surpass us. But not today. The route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. I'll go around. Uh, unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. Exponentially? Can you imagine us, proteinaceous creatures, developing so quickly, sir? No, not in the course of evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's right, you can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. <laughs> Have you started to fear for your position? Well, everything indicates that the clear distinction between humans and robots will soon disappear. And then what? We won't be limited by our own abilities. Robots will excel in areas where we either cannot or do not want to surpass them. To put it bluntly, they will do the dirty work for us. And we'll just sit in the warm privacy of a laboratory? Send them to the other side of the universe? Yeah. That's one example. Well, I don't know. Shh. Astrogator. Can you hear that? Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Silence. We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, I don't know. He must be a long way from here. Dr. Gorski, are you here somewhere? These bushes are kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use a language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush-like formations. They can be singular, though in some locations they create a uniform thicket that covers the walls of the ravine in a rusty brush-like layer. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. That's how it looks, to put it briefly. Would you also venture to guess their significance? Some function, purpose? 
Staying on the topic of biological analogies, which in itself is already a major scientific distortion. Yes, yes, I understand. These are not real plants. But if they were plants, those protruding parts climbing up, they would serve to obtain energy, mainly solar. Astrogator, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. So we will most likely lose contact too. Uh, possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. It's your decision, sir. Please continue your search. We have to find him. You may lose another crew member. If you think so, turn back now. Uh, no, I won't. I can't leave him. It's just... I'm concerned. It's understandable. Only a fool wouldn't have concerns. breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel. I repeat, Hopper has landed. Astrogator, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you? All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. Visibility? 100%. The dust has already settled. Oh. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, oh, very good. I was afraid they might try to fly off, which wouldn't be the best idea given the loss of communication with Dragonfly. Sir, something's wrong. What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Right. I'm inside. And? How is it? For now... We have to assume that we are left with only one lander. Is it that bad? You don't need to be a technician to see that Beetle's lost its buzz. Uh, that's... unfortunate. I'm taking Hopper out of here. 
I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. We've gotten out of worse than this. Equipment breaks from time to time, that's normal. But now... Go ahead. What's bothering you? This lack of communication. It takes too long. Especially considering there's a cyberneticist amongst them. Yes. It worries me too. My legs feel really heavy. Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it. Whoa. Damn. You were right, Cobble. It's beautiful here. One step at a time, Yasna. One step at a time. I have an object in sight. This is where they searched the ocean's biosynosis. Meaning, oh, where they caught that fish, right? Mm, yeah. They stopped here first, then walked along the coastline northward. Correct. But I think you might consider taking a shortcut towards the east, straight to the camp. Just need to find the right route.
time seems to be slipping through my fingers like sand. So much sand. You're so tired, Yasna. Because I am tired, Astrogator. <laughs> Please stop for a break. How do you know? Are there any signs of the crew? I found a cigarette butt and a pack. Someone was smoking here. So, they didn't give a damn about the regulations. Disrupting the ecosystem. Then that's not the point. I understand you want to minimize the effects of our interference here, Doctor, but the mission's safety is at stake. I don't think I have to explain to you the dangers of igniting a dusty atmosphere. Preserving the integrity of Regis III's already extinct ecosystem is not a priority in this scenario. Negligible, actually. Security procedures exist for humans. The rule of integrity is for the sake of everything alien to us. We shouldn't place one above the other. What are you saying, Yasna? The mission and the safety of our people have the highest priority. Always. <laughs> Always? Are we really that self-righteous? Of course, Doctor. We must be the most important to ourselves. And they must be the most important to themselves. Whoever they will be. In the end, the strongest will survive. Isn't that how evolution works? Not in a biological sense, Astrogator. Besides, I'm not convinced if we should interfere with everything alien to us just because we can. Doctor, interference is at the heart of human nature. Man would still be a monkey if he'd only looked at trees instead of cutting them down. Yes, we have a nasty nature. I can't argue with that. Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I confirm. This raid will reach the camp within an hour. This path <laughs> is not the easiest one. Oh, at least I'm moving onward. At the military academy, they used to say that difficult routes lead us the farthest. Well, hopefully not too far. You still have to come back. Are you trying to motivate me, sir? Of course. I appreciate the uh, effort. Whilst traversing this planet, I'm becoming more and more convinced that what I know is not the same as what exists. What can exist? 
I must admit it's an interesting thought. And quite disturbing. structure. It looks like some spiky metal growths. Artificial plants? Is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure? Oh, I've never seen anything like this. I wish I had time to run some tests. When the situation is stabilized, we will take samples. I promise. Are you there? Over. I guess that's a no. Is everything all right? Yes, yes, all good. They're already in the infirmary on life support. You found them in time. How about their reactions? Have they regained consciousness? I mean, maybe one of them said something. Uh, unfortunately, they're still unresponsive. I'll let you know if anything changes. I'm doing an EEG on them right now. Yes, I know where Gorska was going. I confirm, Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. <sighs> but why hasn't he yet? <sighs> going down after him. <sighs> Tell me one more thing. 
When it comes to Marit, are you going to use a grave tapper? Yes, I am considering that as a possibility. And what is your opinion? Should we look into our brain? The more we know, the better chance we have to help others. Oh, I'm at the end of the rope. Isn't that good? Not at all. What do you mean? Damn. Oh, that's the last thing I need. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm hanging with my full weight on the rope, away from the wall. Oh, I can't go up. Nothing to grab onto. Oh, shit. I can't reach the wall. How far to the ground? A good few meters. Uh, any ideas? I can just jump off. Is that safe? A substantial fall on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver that I would describe as safe. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. I'm thinking if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything. Yeah, we don't know that, yes, sir. He could keep going even with injuries. Okay, this is a waste of time. You only die once. Here we go. What's happening? Did you fall? Huh, I jumped. Oh, status, please. Can you walk? Yes. No fractures. Please stop for a moment. Make sure you're all right. Uh, no, there's no need for a delay. Dr. Gorski is waiting. We had our last contact with Regis a few minutes after noon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Communications blew up shortly before he got here. He didn't take a tent. Anyway, what's the idea of doing it alone? I hope he has a good reason. Damn. This place is amazing. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Uh, maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance. Well... If we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like a city. Are you saying that- No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. Oh shit, the telemeter glass cracked. I wouldn't worry. What matters is that you're fine. Oh, <sighs> anyway. Dr. Gorski set up the flags. Sir, he kept going, despite the lack of communication with the rest. You'd have to see it with your own eyes, sir. This place. Gorski may have lost himself in his discovery. Are you joking, Doctor? Lost himself? Gorski? He may not have respect for the unknown, but he has his feet firmly on the ground. Should be looking for a way back by now. I think he must have discovered something. And since he suffers from excessive ambition, he's capable of stupid acts in the name of a breakthrough. Well, I admit, that sounds more like him. You must trace his steps, Doctor. 
I'm working on it. <sighs> Left or right? Are you receiving a signal? What signal? From Dr. Gorski. No, no. Why are you asking? He tried to open up a connection. Set up a transmitter. There's nothing on the comms. But I'll check the record history. Please give me a moment. I'll squeeze through the passage. Two more hours. Huh? That's all Gorski has left of oxygen, at best. And at worst? He's just finishing it up. Though it all depends on his activity. If I remember correctly, the atmosphere here is breathable. Basically, yes. Dr. Crowther, however, warned that the methane content... I know, I know. But the effects won't be immediate. That gives us a few extra hours. These constructions don't have a clear division into functions. They're huge, complicated, and uniform at the same time. Do you have any idea where all this would have come from? I'm aware without tests you can't do much, but let's say on first inspection. It's hard for me to imagine that any biological forms could survive here. The interiors of these structures are filled to the brim with wires and rods. So maybe this metal builds up somehow, by itself. Oh, you've already said something similar before. Just after landing, when you found those bushes. Yes, right. Um, I can't tell if any of this could be part of a machine. Really wish we found Gorski already. <laughs> I've gone over everything in that area. Huh. I see the probe. Has it found anything interesting? The thermal scan lights up at your position. Other than that, it's one big ruin. Everything's cold, dead, and very, very old. How's the terrain? Those structures? Are they still everywhere? Yep. Wherever I look, there's metal. It's a bit like Pando. Colony of populous tremoloids. American aspen. The new trees grow not from seeds, but from root suckers of old trees. As a result, it's one giant organism, thousands of years old. So you're in a dead metal forest. Huh, that does sound bizarre. 
So maybe. Maybe we'll finally find out what's going on with the Doctor. Let's hope so. Gorsky to base. I repeat, this is Gorsky. Please, come in. No doubt. Well, let's keep listening. But as soon as you report anything, Doctor, I'll stop the recording. Fucker. confirmation again. So far, it all leads to one conclusion. This is not a place for a man, nor for any humanoids. Then who is it for? Maybe it's really an alien technology. Those Lyrans. Uh, as far as I know, all information about the Lyran civilization is just guesswork. Many consider Lyrans to be just a myth, so I wouldn't take it too seriously. Well... I think there might be something to it. By the way, you were right, Doctor. Gorski did lose himself in this discovery, in spite of everything. I can see the relay up close. Looks broken. This is starting to look like a deliberate diversion to me. Uh, you may be right. The question is, who's behind all these disruptive activities? That I don't know, sir. I found some abandoned items. What items? What do you have there, Yasna? A telemeter and opened food rations. So he couldn't have gone far. Why would he leave his equipment behind? Well, maybe he planned to come back soon. At least his device is in working order. The telemeter? Oh, right. Yours is broken. I think I'll borrow it. Go ahead, Doctor. It's issued equipment, so I wouldn't even call it borrowing.
There were more traces. This time handprints. And a drop detector. What? Did I hear you right? Yes, sir. You heard correctly. I'm afraid we must be ready for any eventuality. Well, that doesn't mean we should assume the worst. I still believe you'll find him, Doctor. I have a feeling we're in the dark. We have to find a way. Agreed. You should move on. Uh, that's not quite what I meant. But yeah, I probably should. something again that was I suspect Gorski might have damaged his suit if the tear doesn't exceed 20 millimeters the reactive polymer layers will self-seal that's true nevertheless it looks worse and worse I found more of his gear back in the camp you reported Marit's abandoned things a backpack and a journal yes this scene looks... No one of sound mind would decide to go down this way. And yet Gorski... Finally, I have his position. Official? Uh, not yet. Go 
Gorski, are you here? It's me, Yasna. Still nothing? Yeah. I found his backpack. You know what that means, sir? Yes, he's without oxygen. We must... Oh, there he is. I see him. He's lying in a sinkhole. Doctor, answer me, please. Sir. <sighs> Got him. <sighs> He's not moving. Gorski, Gorski, look at me. Eyes are closed. Is he breathing? He's alive, but barely. Did he react in any way? No reaction. By my count, it's that stupor again. Just like the others. Gorski! Come on! Calm down, Doctor. Get him out of there. The probe's already looking for a landing site. Okay, let me just... I'm, I'm pulling him out. Done. He's out. I activated his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well? No, nothing. The transmitter in the suit must be too weak. Should I retrieve his booster from the backpack? Uh, no point. Better to set up a relay. We have to do it anyway so that Hopper can land in this maze. Have a preliminary scan of your surroundings. There's an open area nearby. You have to move Gorski there. The probe will guide you. But he's not stable. I must share my oxygen with the Amastrogator. You'd need a spare for that. The protocol doesn't provide for connecting two suits at the same time. I admit, I'd rather not give him mine. Nobody expects that. On the contrary, I'd not allow it. The membrane looks intact. What did you say? I didn't hear. In the lander, my friend. I'll hook you up in the lander. I still can't hear you, Doctor. It's nothing, Astrogator. Only static. in the open already sort of yes once you set up the transmitter i should start receiving gorski's signal <laughs> Pulse, heart rate, saturation, almost within the range. Ah! 
Okay, sir. Hey, I, I'm underground. It's hard to determine my exact location. Novik, do you copy? Base, come in. I'm sending an SOS. Anyone, please. Okay. Stay calm. Just. Keep it together. <laughs> 